Welcome back everybody to a brand new series. We are doing NASCAR Heat Evolution. This game came out five days ago, I guess. And uh, I've been watching a lot of reviews and a lot of other people playing it. And a lot of people are not that impressed by it. Uh, I guess a lot of things are wrong with this game. And um, so we're going to do the uh, career mode. Um, I do want to do the championship mode in the future. But as you can see, I've been playing for a little bit now. We only have 12, a 12-track 12 season unlocked. You can't do a full season until you raise a certain amount of time, which is ridiculous. We're going to go ahead and uh, we're going to do the career mode. I started messing with some options here. Like I went through and put the damage at full. Um, we're going to do quick qualify because I've been trying out the regular qualifying. And it is, it's basically how it's supposed to be, but it just takes too long in my opinion. So we're going to change that. Um, controls. Here you can like affect all this stuff. And the steering sensitivity, which is just... You'll see. <laughs> and um, we also, what else do we have here? Sound, if we go to gameplay settings and advanced settings, I put it on simulation. I've been trying to test it out with simulation and oh my God, it is broken. Like it is horrible. You can't even race next to people or if you even barely touch somebody or touch the wall or touch the apron, your race is over. So with that being said, we're gonna try it and see how it goes for us. Um, I don't see myself racing with this the whole time, but we're just going to see. So let's go ahead and dive into uh, championship mode and see what this is like. I mean, career mode, my bad. <laughs> Would you, yes, great one. So all the bad things I've heard, I heard that the career mode is actually pretty decent. Um, it's nothing like NASCAR Thunder 2004 like we've been playing, but it, uh, it is okay, so number eight, I'm gonna take that. <laughs> hairstyle, hairstyle. Ooh, yeah. We're just gonna do that. Hair color, that's fine. Cool. That looks good. Hmm. I do have facial hair, but none that really. Let's just do that. I think that's what it was already on in the beginning. I'm Moist Muffin, my name is Dave, and I am the manager for our team. We're a brand new team and can use some money. The first thing we need to do is get sponsored. And we got an achievement. Finishing in the top 30 twice should get us enough attention to acquire a sponsor. Good luck. We're going to need it. So, we don't have much to look at right now. We have a blank car. So let's go ahead and jump right into the race. It looks like we can edit our driver at any time. <clears throat> Uh, front row Joe Nemechek is the only driver to sweep both the NASCAR Sprint Cup and the Xfinity, Sprint, Xfinity Series races on the same weekend at Kansas. Did not know that. I wonder what year he did that. That was probably way back early 2000s, maybe like late 90s if he was even racing then. So let's just see how this goes. I'm dreading this. With a, oh my god. So I turned up the difficulty to um, that one they have where it kind of like looks at what you are, but times two. I did turn it on the 105, but I figured that might be too hard for what we're doing right now. And plus we're on simulation mode, so it's going to be hard period. So um, we're just going to do default. Next session, qualify. Go, 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 go. <clears throat> Let's see how this is. But for all the people saying that the graphics are horrible, I really don't think they're that bad. I mean, they definitely don't look like a super good next-gen game like Tomb Raider or Witcher or something like that, but, but they don't look like Forza for that matter, but um, I feel like for what we were racing before... Ooh. See? Oh, God. It just feels horrible. I feel like the graphics are pretty decent, though, especially for their first game. I mean, the, the crowd isn't just like a wall of people painted on. I mean, you can actually kind of see individual heads. The so simulation mode is just freaking horrible. It feels like whenever you go in the corner, it just starts swaying back and forth. As the corner like stops you. And I'm barely letting off the gas. If not, see, oh, wow. So I honestly don't know if we're going to race in simulation mode or not. But you'll see during the race, if we even get to finish high enough, I think a lot of the people recording the 13th, wow. 
I think a lot of the people recording these, they're not playing on simulation mode just because how um, how unrealistic it is and just how broken it is right now. It's really horrible. So start race. <clears throat> if we can just stop it and finish right here, I'd be happy with that. Five laps, oh my god. So we just don't need to wreck. Oh wow, look how slow we are. See, getting on the apron there, I'm getting... Oh, I almost wrecked. How is Dan Kapatrick running this high? Look, oh my god. Wow. Seriously? Oh my god. Oh my god. Of course, in a of course, a caution is not going to come out. Freaking kidding me! This is freaking horrible. Freaking horrible! In the start, you can't even adjust anything in the start menu. Just resume, restart, and quit race. Freaking crazy! Well. <laughs> Really? I got hit from behind. Oh my god, this is oh. um I think we're gonna have to end up just putting out a regular instead of simulation because this is just horrible. Like the normal mode is actually kind of fun to race. Still there. Car low. Just gonna let these guys by. There's no point, they're so Car much low. faster than I am. Car low. Clear low. Oh my god, I can't even hold it off the freaking wall. Car low. If we can just hang on for four laps and stay in the top 30. I was not expecting to finish where we qualified at. Ooh, baby. Stay high. Still there. And the spotter, I mean, they're a piece of work. There's been several times where I've been clear for a while, and then he's finally like, oh, you're clear. Or I'll be clear, and he'll say, car down low, and then there's literally nobody around me. Car low. All clear. I like that. He wasn't down low, I went down there in front of him. Three to go. This baby will stick. I mean, we can get him in the corners, but on the straightaways, that's when they just start pulling on us because their horsepower is just so much higher than I am. I am curious to see how the upgrades are for like our race team. And I've seen there is a fan feature in there where you can you earn more fans and you know, stuff like that, which seemed pretty cool. It kind of reminded me of, um, I want to say it was NASCAR 2005, like Chase for the Cup. I believe they had a similar thing to that. Oh, my just sliding going in. See, whenever it gets spread out, though, <clears throat> simulations, I like it. In a way, like, it, it makes it more of a challenge to drive the car. And, like, because in normal mode, literally, all you have to do is keep a turn left and just feather the gas. That's it. Still there. Like simulation though, like my car's getting Still loose in the triable. Which I don't know how realistic that is. Clear low. Okay, Car so we can just make it through this last last corner here. Okay, looks like we might get 16th if I can, yep, we can clear them. We're going to get 16th on our first race. Awesome. Speed rating, 87, oh my god. 
And then that adds into your total and that affects um fastest lap was Jimmy Johnson results. Let's see who won. Jimmy Johnson, okay. Good deal. So we finished sixteenth for our first race on simulation. Which that was freaking horrible. Nice job, that top 30 got us a lot of attention today. I bet it did since we restarted four in times. Okay, let's do the next race. So this episode is just going to be a prologue, like doing these two races. The next one will be Daytona and all that stuff. Dale Earnhardt Jr. won both his first NASCAR nationwide race and his first Sprint Cup race at Texas Motor Speedway. I think a good majority of us knew that. I am glad about the soundtrack though. It's not just horrible country music. And I actually uh, tweeted them and I was like, please just take out country music. Make it to how it used to be like a NASCAR Thunder go, go, with go, go, go. we had a Vinge Sevenfold and Three Days Grace and stuff like that and God it was in that regards I miss EA because they'd have some cool soundtracks in there. Where the hell are we even at? I think we're at Texas. Yeah, you can see the giant screen in the back. Okay. Whew, deep breath. I'm just going to do the same thing I did last time. I'm just going to get up to the top. You know, take it easy. Wait till they get single filed out. And then just ride it home. In 30th. <laughs> or at least in the top 30 somewhere. Let's see how we do in qualifying. If we get another top 15, I'm going to be, I don't know. It's just so unbalanced. Well, I guess so, because we kind of finished in 16th place, so I guess we were close, but. Like, I had to barely just feather it there. And I believe uh, Real Radman, he said, like, I watched a lot of his videos, and what he was saying to 35th, so that's more realistic. So we actually have some work to do here. <clears throat> he was saying that you barely even it's not even a struggle to control the car you just turn and feather the gas and he is so right so this we are going to have to work a little bit here and every time you start a race you got to re-put back up all your options your mirror can we clear him real quick? yeah we can you have to put back up your mirror and all your stats that you want and that's really annoying every single race. Man, I don't know how this is going to go, guys. I really have no choice but to run the outside. He says we're clear low. Really? To take it easy. I did race a couple races on simulation here, and you just want to be not very aggressive, especially through the triable with a dog leg. Okay, so we're at 34th. Don't know how many laps we have to go here. And I've always wanted a game where you can really run the high line effectively, and I'm glad they did bring that to this game because that's where I, where I really like to run. Ooh, come on. Five to go, okay. I think we can do this. Clear low. Not a good run through there. Why is Hamlin so far back? Still there. I'm kind of boxed in here. I don't know if I want to take it three. Now nah, let's do it. No, I'm not going to do it. I'm going to take her time. I think only when he sees me going down, that's when he'll scream Carlo. Clear low. I was not even clear low though. It's just frustrating. The spotter is basically useless in this game. Whoa, 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 whoa. Still there? Really just need two more spots. Oh man. That kind of happened on accident. I mean, are we three Stay wide? On. Yeah, we were 3-1. See, I wish he would tell you that. So, 
Oh no. Oh my god. <sighs> really? I don't know if we're gonna be able to make those spots up now. Especially with all this damage we got. Oh my god. I think that might have just screwed us. We barely got bumped. Went into the wall, and as you can tell, our race is ruined now. If there's three to go, we might be able to still make it. Two to go. Two to go. Okay. Well, I don't see this happening then. But by God, we're gonna try. It's like they're all slowing down for me. If you can get in my way, that'd be great. So we kind of got to be aggressive here now. We need three more spots. Let's see if we can get a good run through one and two. Okay, it's going to come down to this turn coming up. Okay, we just need to pass Scott. Wow. So it took us like three laps to get by those, well like, yeah, it took us like three laps to get by those guys, but within two laps, I was able to pass every single one of them, no problem. How does that make sense? But we still met our goal. And 87. I'm glad it doesn't bring your rating down for that track, because I think I had like a 99 there already. So results, we finished 28th. And Brad Keselowski won with Jimmy Johnson finishing second. Finish event. And let's see what happens. Great news! MOOG Steering and Suspension is impressed with your driving and wants to offer you a sponsorship. 5,000 per race. I think a set of tires is 5,000. And our car goes to that. Awesome. So. At the top, it shows. Oh, we got an achievement. 10 G's. So, the top facility it has the four stars. And then your team, fans, how much money you have. It shows the next race. <clears throat> so, let's check out team real quick. Oh, this is cool. So, welcome to the team page. From here, you can use your winnings to purchase better tools, personnel, facilities for our team. Really neat. The better you make our team, the better we can make your car. So, check back often. Oh wow, look at this. Wow. So the next thing is garage space. Um, benefit shop expansion. A car garage provides space for a workshop and room to install equipment to improve the car. So this is pretty cool. I really like this. It reminds me of um, the old Thunder games. So career race standings. Career AI difficulty, so let's turn them on the hard. Race length. <clears throat> so at 7%. Hmm. What do we want to do? Let's do. Let's do 7% for now. So it's on the times 2 and then all flags, please. I think that'll be good. Okay. So standings. Let's just see what this is like. Okay. Basically what I expected it to be. And then schedule. So this is kind of unrealistic. The um, the winnings, they're a lot more than that in real life. A lot more than that. So this is the regulation season. And then shows the rounds. Which is pretty cool. And you can see that the how much you win is actually more there. But it looks like every time you... Okay. Anyway, so that's going to be it for this episode, guys. Next episode, we'll start the actual career mode. Starting at Daytona, we'll see how we do. I'm not expecting very high things to happen, but um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm excited about getting the series going. I do want to do a championship series with this game, but we can't even do anything until our skill points get up more so we can unlock the full 36 race season. And we'll probably race as junior or something like that. So thank you guys for watching so much, and I'll see you at the next race.